people's bank accounts as early as this weekend. If you are eligible but haven't received the payment yet, you can track it online. Fox 5's Evan Lambert live at the IRS building in downtown D.C. Evan, what's going on? We'll learn the Get My Payment portion of the IRS website is up and live now. That's where you can go to track to see when the check will hit your accounts. Of course, some people already getting it. So on January, everybody, the U.S. hit its debt ceiling, having spent all of its $30 trillion. In the days since, the conversations have become heated about how the country moved forward to avoid the total spending phase and freeze in a financial catastrophe that could happen. Unless Congress acts before the impending deadline, there could be terrible effects. One report estimated that 6 million jobs may be on the line, bumping the unemployment rate up to 7% and pushing the country into a recession. But Democrats are pushing for the debt limit for more borrowing power, while Republicans want spending cuts cut before they're conceding their position. One politician has even come forward with a partial fix, though not all of Congress may agree with him. Democratic Senator Manchin wants to change the way in which Social Security is funded, notably raising the cap on payroll taxes in order to make the highest earners the wealthiest earners. Plus, a politician has even come forward and said that Manchin is about to change Social Security in a good way. Manchin even said on CNN that he's providing money for the program in this manner that will ensure beneficiaries get money, get help, and get stimulus. So good job, Manchin. Do it again. We got a ton of news about the fourth stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SSI and SDI. Here's a couple of factors about the fourth stimulus check that Joe Biden is talking about. This is a photo of me when I was 19 years old. But much more importantly, however, that photo is from my first day at work when I had this mindset of people's strengths. And this is the one that saved me that $40,000 within one hour. There is a saying that is, if you are the smart... First of all, everybody, the governor in the state of New Mexico said that people could be getting stimulus checks. Here's what I'm talking about. Congress has introduced a new bill. The lawmakers in the House and Senate are reviewing bills that can make a huge impact for millions of you guys. You could be eligible to receive another $1,500 check. But now with the governor, they already signed a bill that is going to provide economic relief to the New Mexico residents. And according to the governor's office, the Senate bill has been fixed and filed and sponsored by the Senator Ben Shendo. Because some residents of Colorado are poised to receive a rebate of up to 1500 bucks by January 31st. The windfall is directed at residents who filed for an extension of their 2021 return last year by October and features payments of up to $750 for individuals and $1,500 for couples. The rebates stem from the Colorado Cashback Program, which is a one-time refund for state revenue. The program is distinct from the Colorado Great Cashback Program, the Great Cashback Program from Joe Biden. But it's aimed at helping only people in Colorado. Even a Democratic governor signed a bill backing a tax relief measure. And because it's backed, it initially means the program sought $400 for individual filers, $800 for couples, and a lot, a lot of money going to people in need. And also, here's what Manchin, the Joe Manchin, is saying about the introducing a bill to delay and adding new restrictions to consumer tax credit for EV vehicles. The legislation takes aim at a Treasury Department move in December to temporarily delay the stipulations, which are expected to pose hurdles and hurdles for consumers who want to get a federal subsidy for the electric car. Manchin's proposal is unlikely to actually pass, given that it would require Joe Biden's signature, but it is the latest point in tensions that the West Virginia Center has with the administration. Democrats' climate, tax, and health care bill signed into law last year, expanded tax credits, helped so many people out, and gave people a lot of stimulus cash. And I'm really proud of what this is happening. I'm really proud I can actually go forward with this because it's pretty good. The law in uh, question, known as the IRA, Inflation Reduction Act, says that the restriction will take effect in, uh, when the Treasury Department issues guidance for the implementation of a stimulus. Now, in a written statement on this legislation, Manchin has called the Treasury Department move unacceptable. He said it's unacceptable that the Treasury has failed to issue the guidance for the 30D electric vehicle tax credits and continues to make the full $7,500 credit available without even meeting the requirements. In simple terms, it means that the first round of Social Security checks is coming on Wednesday, and don't panic if you haven't gotten yours yet. Don't worry, it's coming. Joe Biden can make it happen sooner than later, and I think it is going to happen before. Well, I believe that we have to have a secure border, and I think that we are trying to address uh, – the president is, has a plan to address that. Securing our border is part of our security to protect and defend our country.
let there be no doubt. I don't want to respond to those kind of questions. I mean, with all due respect, I'll respect to your question at the end, but not to his comments, because I don't even know what he's talking about, and I don't know if he does. But the, the fact is, is that uh, we have a responsibility to secure our border. We also have a responsibility to recognize the importance of newcomers to our nation. Right now, the best thing that we can do for our economy is to have comprehensive immigration reform. We have a shortage of workers in our country, and you see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops down here. But that doesn't mean that we don't recognize our moral responsibility as well. When the president, the former, well, occasional occupant of the White House who preceded President Biden, when he had the ban on Muslims, everybody came forward, our military, our diplo diplomats, our faith community. And one part of the faith community, the, Amer uh, the evangelical community of America, they came forward and said, the, United, the Refugee Resettlement Program of the United States is the highlight of our humanitarianism in our country. It is. We have a responsibility to accept some of these people, but we have to know that they qualify for that. And what the administration is doing is increasing how we make sure that people come into their country in a timely fashion, are either here to stay. Or a big update on President Biden's fourth stimulus package, everybody. Joe Manchin has announced his new agreement with Chuck Schumer, and progressive lawmakers have proposed mailing inflation to relief checks. Now, these checks may be sent out to low-income households, Social Security beneficiaries, and even families. You want to be sure to stay until the end of the video to know if you can receive the latest stimulus check from President Biden. Congress is planning on taking big action this week, as they are now in session and Joe Manchin of West Virginia is already holding meetings with other lawmakers to finally close a deal. According to NBC News, alongside Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, Joe Manchin held a meeting on climate initiatives. This was a cut. This was an effort to see whether a bipartisan deal can be cut with Republicans. Manchin has told reporters, if I can find something bipartisan, we don't need reconciliation. Democrats have been using for over a year, allowing them to bypass the 60 volt threshold and a potential filibuster. He later added that one area of shared interest could be overhauling the federal oil and gas leasing program. It's urgent to find out if there's a pathway, he said, if there's any way that we can find a pathway in a bipartisan way. Now, a spokesperson, a spokesperson for Manchin said the meeting was an effort to gauge bipartisan interest in a path forward that addresses our nation's climate and energy security heads on. The progressive lawmakers are also trying to come up with an agreement with Manchin. House Representative Rokana sent a statement that passing a bold bill is his highest priority and he, was and he was pleased to participate with colleagues on finding a way forward. Joe Manchin has voiced support in recent months for a package centered on clean energy spending, cutting prescription prices, and rolling back the 2017 Republican tax cuts. Democrats hope to cut a deal with Manchin on the bill as soon as possible. Some of the